Yes team, hello, what is up? And welcome to Moto Sumo. My name is Ben Parsons and I am your instructor for this class team. And this class is your 45 minute endurance game. You got 45 minutes with me, so we've got a nice long amount of time to set into this class to get a lovely warm up in and then to get into your endurance game. This is like the torso, not the hair. This is a marathon rather than a sprint. This is where we take it back a little bit. We got lovely long rounds to get locked into, some lovely long speed endurance, some lovely long climbs. I'm gonna take you on a journey and I'm gonna be doing it with you all the way. We're gonna get to going team the way we always do. So bring that resistance down to a zero. That basically means you take off all that resistance. So you've got this res resistance zero on that bike and then we just get our legs moving. Now I want you to add just a touch of resistance. Now this is a resistance one. And this is where we all begin. I want you to be able to just feel a little bit of something under those feet as we move on. And let's get going. In three, in two, in one. Here we go. Yes, Giannetta, yes, Spa. Here we are. Loving it. Got those emojis out, that's what we want. So now, as I said, we've got 45 minutes, you've got time with me. So we just really want to make sure we're getting used to everything with this long warm-up before we get into our main stuff. So bearing in mind, this is your resistance one, so this should feel nice and light, but you can definitely feel something. You can feel a bit of weight under those feet, but not too much. Later on, obviously, I'm going to be taking you up into your resistance two, three, and four. Four being very top, one where we're at now being the very lowest. Mm. Mm. Now, that's one of the main things we concentrate on. That is your resistance. The other thing we look at is your cadence. Now, as always, if you look at the bottom of your screen, that is your cadence meter. That's basically your speed. It's basically how many times your feet are going around in a circle. And that's measured in RPM. And you're probably just chilling in green zone now, or blue zone. We're going to put it into yellow zone for a minute. We go for that. In three, two, one, spa, let's go. So yellow zone is 90 to 110, 90 to 110. And I don't mind where you sit in that, as long as you're giving me a little bit of speed. So bring that speed up, Spa. Let's go. Remember, we're holding this for a minute. All the way, stay on that. Three, two, one. Keep those legs moving. So now when we're not in that sort of work phase, we're not in that red zone or the red timer, we're just putting it back. We don't want to stop completely. Let's go for another minute in there. So maybe adding five onto that RPM before. You ready? Three, two, Motosumo, one, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Coming into that new track, staying on that pace, nice spa. Maybe yellow zone. We're starting to lift that pace up a bit, we're starting to lift that energy up. Two, one, put it back. Resistance two for me. Uh. 
Uh, resistance two. Four me. Nice. That should feel a little bit sticky. A little bit more. And we go in. 90 to 110. No, 90 to 100. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we still on that yellow zone, but now, right now, I can tell you it's starting to feel a little bit warmer. So it's always good to set those intentions, set those goals for your class, set our journey for this class in your mind, as in so what you will sort of want to gain from this class. But I also want you to try and set your intentions with your actions. So in this warm up, I really want you setting those resistances so you know where they stand. Ninety to one hundred. Let's go. Three, two, one. Fifteen seconds. Take that resistance. Three. Short warm up today. Shorter. Only about ten minutes long. We go again, three, resistance, three, 80 to 95, three, two, one. Now this is your resistance, three. Now we're starting to work our way up into that slightly heavier stuff. Now because it is starting to get heavier, it's also you're sort of wanting to Shift that weight either side, use your body weight, but I don't want you to do that. I want you to maintain the fact that you know you can keep that body nice and centered, nice and still, with that core engaged, and it is those legs working round it in that circle. 80 to 95. Stay on it. Three, two, one, yes. 15 seconds. Resistance four. First climb. We're climbing in. Three, two, one, up we get. 60s. Loving it, really nice, your elbows in. Try keeping your back nice and straight, hips hovering just over that see yes bar. Now we're really gonna treat it like a marathon right now. We're gonna get into some long rounds, in which the first few are the longest, and then they get shorter and shorter, in which then we start to pick up that pace. This is called a negative split. So you start a little bit slower and then you start speeding up and up and up and you bring that intensity, bring that energy up and up and up. And that is what we are working with. Good, three, two, one. You got a 30 second break. Down to resistance one for me, please. We're heading into our main first round, our big first round. And this round is gonna be 12 minutes. That's probably how you're feeling right now. That's all good. Resistance one for three minutes. 100 minimum. Are you ready? We got three, two, one. No sumo. We are in. So in resistance, 100 minimum. That's so the way this first round worked. 12 minutes long. Three minutes in resistance, one. Three minutes in two. Three minutes in three. Three minutes in four. Oh yeah. Got 
cafecito en la mañana. Me pone en la cama. Three minutes in each. Now, I want you to think about it, look. I'm going to be taking you on a journey with this. So I want you to join me on this. I want you to trust me. Spa, do you trust me? Do you trust me, Moesuma? I think that's a yes. I love to be some of these, these bad boys popped in there. I've got a lot of mates right now who are, who are training for marathons. Some of my best mates are heading out to Copenhagen. To do the Copenhagen Marathon in two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. In two weeks' time. And so that's exciting. And so I've been talking to them about training and everything. I've been talking to them about their journey through it. And a lot of it's mindset. A lot of it's putting the prep in, knowing where you should be. So that's why I'm your guide throughout this entire thing. So we want to hit. 100 to 110, or ideally around that stage, about 95 to 110 for three minutes. And the breaks in between these rounds are, uh, they're not gonna be very long. So ideally, ideally, you won't get to the end of each round and be absolutely shattered because it's all about sort of keeping that heart rate steady. If you start to jump that heart rate round, oh, it's game over. Uh, uh. So you got me. Nice 30 seconds. Now be resistance one, already done. Under 30 seconds. We're adding some resistance, so I'm bang into that resistance too. And you're gonna join me on this next stage. And you're three minutes in resistance. Two. 90 to 100. Coming up in. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's go. So this is naturally gonna slow you down a little bit. Nineties now. Spy, you feeling that? That little bit heavy under those legs. This is just about enjoying it, enjoying this music. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Next three minutes, just get them in the bag. You sort of want you to, uh, to have the aim throughout this one. I'm trying to stay nice and steady on these numbers. Once you've done that, we can have our fun. We can pie with this music. Cause that's what we're here for, aren't we? A bit of fun, a little sweat. Here to enjoy ourselves. Woo. Yo, Spa, how you doing? Give me some emojis. Let me know. Let me know you're going strong. Talk to me. Talk to me, Spa. Mm. Sick, another minute here. Another minute in resistance too. That looks will be halfway in this big 12 minute round. Whew. Yes, bro. Look, I'm the same. I'm the same. I think that's the fact. That was me echoing the face of the emoji, by the way. 
Let's see if I can get it right. <sighs> Something like that. And the thing is about this big round is that we use those first six minutes as a little warm up. Resistance three and four are going to be very, very different. Resistance three, 80 to 95. Three, two, one. Okay. Feeling that weight now, we're heading, we're in that heavy stuff. Weighty. Into that second half of this big first round. Once again, settling into your new resistance. That's heavy resistance, 80 to 95. Also linking to uh, the sort of marathon, the sort of endurance. It's an endurance game after all, isn't it? My little brother and, and my dad are out in Tenerife. Spa, do you know where Tenerife is? I don't know where you live, so. You may or may not have heard of Tenerife, but it's this island sort of the coast of Africa, south of, south of the UK, and it's, it's a cyclist paradise, it's where people go to train, and they're on the hills and they're out taking on some big, big hills, some big mountains, getting 80k, 100k under their belt today, now that, now that's tough. Now if you think we're like this spa, they are very much like that. And so that's what we're trying to recreate right now. We're getting the big one. We're getting the big effort out of the way first. The big 12 minute. But the thing is, we're not even up to the steepest part yet. We're not even up to the steepest part. The steepest part is coming up in 40 seconds. And it's resistance four. And we're gonna be out of that saddle. For three minutes, for that final three minutes. How are you feeling about that? Look, you can see it. You can see the hill. It's up there. And we're gonna climb up it. We're gonna climb up it. This is it. Imagine you and me. You and me, Spart. Mo Sumo. Anyone doing this? We got that mountain coming up in front of us. Up out of your cellar, resistance four. In three, two, one, final three minutes. Into your 60s. Into your 60s, driving up this hill. Here we go. Lovely stuff. That was me looking at the hill. That was me looking at you. Into those 60s, nice, and so now we find that steady pace here. So the thing is about the next rounds, and the way they work is we don't get much of a break. We're gonna get to the top of this hill. We're gonna have a short, a brief recovery before then we crack back on. Nice. Final two minutes, staying in the 60s. Not because I'm just telling you to go into those 60s, but because you're being forced into those 60s because of how steep this hill is. Let's go.
90 seconds left. Bang up this hill. Let's go. Okay, a minute left. Come on, Spa. This is us. We are a team. We're an endurance team. We're endurance athletes. And we're going to push up this hill, and you're going to join me up here. Yo, digging deep for the final minute. And if you feel like this climb has not been tough enough, I want to see if you can add some resistance on because we want to get up this hill, so let's go, go, go. Thirty seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. 30 second break. Draw it down to resistance one, just while we let those legs spin out. How was that spa? How was that big round one there? The thing is, if we're linking on to the journey of how we do this, and you and me on this cycling holiday, with the Moto Sumo team, we've turned the corner, we've gone around the hill, and we found another hill. This one's shorter, but it's actually a little bit steeper. And so we've got to go for this one. It's only nine minutes this time. Resistance two. Find that resistance two. 95, or 90 to 105. Three, two, one, let's go. Spa, this round is nine minutes long. Let's do this. This round is nine minutes long. And Spa, you've been a worthy cycling buddy so far. Very similar to what we did last time. But we're just taking off that first, that first speed endurance section. So this time is three minutes in resistance two, three minutes in resistance three, back to three minutes in resistance four. Once again, we turn that corner and we're faced with a new, a new mountain to conquer. And that's what we're doing. We're just getting them. Bang, one down. This is the next one. Next nine minute round, get it done. Nice spot, good number. Now, as you get through these endurance classes, you shouldn't really be working your sort of threshold the whole time, but as we get through them, because we're working for so long, and look, we're over halfway in the entire class, it starts to get tougher because of how long the sort of repetition and the duration of doing these rounds. Team, we've done 25 minutes. You've got 20 minutes to go, but we've got a few more hills to conquer first. Yeah. Whew. 
15 seconds, resistance three. This hill is about to get a little steeper. So let's add on that resistance. Resistance three, 80 to 95. In three, two, one. Let's do this. We're into it now. Holding that number, yes, bar, 80. Trying to drop much lower than that. Look, these hills, even though they're gonna get smaller, even though they're gonna get shorter, they are gonna be no less difficult. If anything, they're gonna feel more difficult. Nice, five minutes left of this round. Two minutes left in resistance three before we get into that final minute. Final minute, final three minutes in resistance four. Whew. Yo, spa, remember, everyone, most of you remember, as the weather in most countries starts to get a little bit warmer, starts to be more acceptable to be outside. It's always good to do some cross training in terms of riding on your bikes and then also getting outside, riding outside. So joining us for these rides daily or whenever you do them, but then also remember adding on to maybe a run or a walk. Just getting some fresh air, you know? That's what we're all about. Trying to create those happy, healthier lives. Yeah. All right, another minute here. seconds you can see that hill that mountain start to loom over you it starts to get bigger and this is when once again you need to have that little pep talk with yourself about how hard you want to go for this about how much how much you want this how much you want to get to the top of this hill and there's only one answer for that and that's hard and y'all remember I'm doing it with you eight seconds we stand up resistance four in those 60s. Three, two, one, let's go. Up we go once again. New hill to take on in those 60s spar. Oh yeah. Now for this one, and we're not just gonna leave it like this because we're coming close to that last 15 minutes, close to that last third of this class. So we need to up the ante now. So for each minute of this climb, I want you to add a little bit of resistance because it's gonna get steeper as we get towards The final two minutes. Three, two, one. We add a bit, just a little bit. Whatever that means to you right now, whatever's gonna test you out, whatever's gonna push you, is what we are aiming for. Let's go, let's go. Ninety seconds left. Whew. 
Here we are, that's our spa, that's you and me. Teamwork, 10 seconds, you're gonna add a little bit more on, and once again, mindset. Don't let it scare you, push up over the finish line. Three, two, one, add a bit more. You got it. Oh yeah, come on. Oh yeah. All right, big. 30 seconds. Huge. Come on. Spa, let me know how you're feeling now. The end of this nine minute climb. The end of this nine minute round, which is still obviously long in the grand scheme of things, but it's not as long as that first round. Come on, Spa, come on, Mo Sumo. Let's go. Ready. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Bring it down once again. Keep those legs moving. That's huge. That's huge. Six minute round coming up. We take off that resistance too. Three minutes. In resistance three. Three minutes in resistance four. Take it up to resistance three for me. Spa. Only a six minute round now. We take off that lower bit. You've just got your two big boys. We go for this. In three, two, one. Let's go. Resistance three. Yes, Spa. Loving it. You have been a trooper. Oh, yeah. That's for you. 80 to 95. Let's go. This is the heavy stuff now. This is where we get stuck in. Yes, Mo Sumo, all the way. This is a six minute round. What an absolute banger. Absolute banger. Mental becomes mental, becomes mindset, and you're not gonna listen to anything. You're not gonna listen to the other words. You're not gonna listen to that, that little voice in your head telling you to stop, telling you to quit, and not at this point. Not now. You're gonna do the opposite. We've got a little over 10 minutes left in a 45 minute class. If you've got this far, you can finish it strong. I'm a and man. that's what we want. I'm a baller, take a deep breath. I'm a shark, you seven days a week. I'll be up on one night. minute in resistance three. Let's go. I'm a fence man. I'm a baller, take a deep breath. I'm a shark, you seven days a week. I'll be up on night. Day and night, day, day and night. I wear fancy clothes. I'm a hell of a show. Thirty seconds. Resistance three. Once again, this hill looms. This mountain looms. It is steeper than before. I want you to add as much resistance as you can, even if that puts you into the fifties. I want this to be agony, in a good way. 
Obviously, bit for fun. Eight seconds or so. Ten minutes left. Oh. Standing up. In three, in two, in one. Let's go. Here we go. All day and night. Live life to the maximum. Yeah, listen to the words. Live life to the maximum. This is what we want. And that's why we're out in these, out in these hills, driving it up. Two minutes left. Under 10 minutes left in the whole class. Yo, this has been a big one. I'm down in those 50s, I said. Look, I've really racked up that resistance super high. Big final minute coming up before your final break, before our final round. We got this, we got this. Endurance game. It's not about starting strong. As I said, with that negative split, talking about the marathon, it's about building up into it. Not quite a sprint finish, but giving it everything and lifting that intensity, lifting that spirit, and pushing it on, taking out those mental blockades, and really giving me something. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Take it down to resistance one, you've got a minute before our final three minutes. And our final three minutes, you can take it all the way down to resistance one if you want. Our final three minutes. It's just gonna be that final bit. 12 minutes, three and one, three and two, three and three, three and four. Nine minutes, three and two, three and three, three and four. Six minutes, three and three, three and four. Three minutes, three and four. If none of that made sense to you, that's fine. Because that's what we just did. But we finish it off now. Resistance four, three minutes. Sat down. Finish it off. Give me a little shake off. We go in five. In four. All the way. Three, two, one. Come on! About 70 to 85, team. Three minutes here. To give me everything you've got. Oh, big tune. This is it. Three, 
three, two, one. Two minutes left. seconds. This is it. Final minute, adding some resistance. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Everything you've got left, if you have anything left, now's the time to end here. We're gonna add some more resistance for your home 30 as well. Because this is everything. Ready. Three, two, one. Add some. to get down there, seeing as how heavy you are in that final one. I have so many emojis I want to send out. You are strong, probably exhausted, sweaty, but you are stars and I want to send all my love out there as well. That was good. Really good. to roll those shoulders back for me. Lean that up to one side. Lean that up to the other side. Lean that forward. And a big roll of the shoulders back and take a big deep breath in. Hold. So now just keep going, taking those big deep breaths in, a little hold and take them out. And just reflecting on the class. As I said, there's gonna be that little voice in your head getting in the way mentally, and we don't let it. Because we know our physical body can do so much more if you don't let those worrying voices get in the way. Which is why we push them aside, we ignore them, and we push through. Look, sometimes they're there to help us, a safety net but sometimes you just gotta be like, look, this is my time now. So that's what we're doing then. Nice team, stand it up. You can push those heels down. You can push your bum back. Nice, three, two, one. Spin them around. Same thing on the other side. Good, from there you can take your arms up. Big squeeze over to one side. Big squeeze over to the other. And then from there, bang, round and in. Where I wanna say thank you so much, team. That was epic. 45 minute endurance game. What more do you want? Big old hill climbing, and that is what you got. Team, making sure you're clicking pause and save on your work, and make sure you're finding us on social media as well. At most sumo. Peace out team. Have an amazing one. Whatever you're doing, and I will see you later. Lots of love and goodbye.